What's going on YouTube today? We're talking Bitcoin and specifically we're talking cold storage wallets. I've mentioned this in a previous video and I thought I'd dive into it a little bit deeper here and just kind of explain why they're important, why you should definitely have one, especially if you're taking Bitcoin serious and you're actually starting to put some away for a future date. You want to make sure it's protected. You want to make sure you don't get goxed. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that's because you probably don't know who Mt. Gox was. Making an offline wallet is very easy to do. It takes no money. It's it's free to do. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. And I'm going to tell you how to do all that coming up right now. So we are looking at an article from 2016 about Mt. Gox and uh, why they're important. Maybe you've never heard of them before. Maybe you have and you just started giggling to yourself because you know what I'm about to say. But basically, Mt. Gox is very important because they were an exchange. They were a Bitcoin exchange. And what that means is it's a place where you can go and you can exchange your Bitcoin for other currencies, like other cryptocurrencies, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, whatever it is that you're into, you are allowed to trade it on there and kind of make money. Think of it like the stock market. You're allowed to trade for different stocks. Your cryptocurrencies equal stocks, right? So Mt. Gox, people had all their wallets on there. They would transfer all their money on there. And they would do all their trades day by day, whatever it was that they were doing. And then the worst happened. They were hacked. They were hacked for nearly, was it like $500 million or something like that? It was something like $450 million that was stolen from them. Um, and then they basically went bankrupt. And the reason why they got hacked and the reason why they went bankrupt was, well, first and foremost, they had very bad servers. Now, Gox actually started out as a, I think it was Magic the Gathering, a Magic the Gathering exchange. And then they, they got into Bitcoin and before they knew it, they were bigger than they could imagine. And they never updated their servers. Believe it or not, they had the oldest servers ever and somebody was able to hack them very easily. And all these people who had their money in a Mt. Gox wallet lost it all. It was completely gone because a hacker got in there and took it. Why is that important? Because if you have a cold storage wallet, nobody can do this to you. A cold storage wallet is not attached to any third party entity. And what do I mean by it's not attached to any third party entity? Well, you have the private keys to your Bitcoin wallet, as opposed to when you have it on any site like Coinbase, CEX, uh, if you're going to uh, BTCE, any of those sites, when you have a wallet there, if you don't know your private key, that means that company has your private key. And what that private key does is that unlocks the doorway to allow money to flow through your account. You don't need the private key to send money to a Bitcoin address. You only need the private key in order to send money out from that address. So if I want to send you money, I need to know my private key in order to do that. So if you don't know your private key, if you have a Bitcoin address and you don't know your private key, then you don't technically own your Bitcoin. It's basically in the bank. And we know what happens to banks. Over time, they tend to implode and that's not good for anybody so i'm going to show you a few ways that you can save your bitcoin make sure you keep it safe during any kind of crazy acts that may or may not happen in the future you want to store away as much bitcoin as possible you need to do that in a cold storage wallet and the first way that you can do it here is you can buy a hardware wallet this i've mentioned in another video and i'll put some links down below where you can pick one of these up but this is the trezor wallet it's pretty cool it's an offline wallet it's tamper proof water resistant all that sort of fun stuff but it's a essentially it's an offline wallet it's a very secure way to keep your money safe for a real true cold storage wallet the thing that i would say to do is you want to head on over to this website here bitcoinpaperwallet.com uh, this is the first time i've talked about them on my channel i've mentioned bitaddress.org before that is this website here very similar concept you wiggle your mouse around you type in the box until it gets to hundred percent and this allows it to randomize and pick out a bitcoin address uh, for you so once this is done you're going to see how easy this is boom it's done i hit hundred percent so now it's creating my bitcoin wallet and there it is you can see the bitcoin address and the private key now this is secure i can take this offline and i can do whatever i want to do now this is secure this is good to go but here's part of the problem with the way that i made this this bitcoin address here i made this connected to the internet which means there's a possibility very unlikely but there is still a possibility that somehow some way maybe through a trojan maybe through a key logger i don't know how hackers do what they do but it's possible that because i'm connected to the internet that this key could get out 
and the money that I would send to this offline cold storage would not be really so cold storagey. So what? How do you really make a cold storage wallet truly cold storage, right? So I would head over to that first website that I mentioned, the Bitcoin Paper Wallet, and you're going to click on Generate Keys and Print Paper Wallets. Same concept here. This thing is going to count up. You can type into the box random letters and numbers. And once it gets to the top number that it needs to do, it's going to create yourself a wallet. So just for argument's sake, for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and click skip. And now we are here. And then we're going to head right on over to print the front of the wallet. And then you will see your deposit key, which is your Bitcoin address. And then over here, you're going to see your private key, which is your password. This is the key to allow you to send money out of your address. And the reason why that's important if nobody has the private key, they cannot withdraw money from this address. They can only send money to that address. So in order to do this truly offline, once you're here, before you do any of this stuff, you want to go down to the bottom, you want to download this, this zip file here, and you want to do this as a offline wallet. Okay? And it even tells you right here, for secure wallet generation, do not print wallets live from this website. Instead, download the generator from there, run the HTML as a local file. So what does that mean? It means this. You download this secure file here. It's a zip file. You download it, throw it onto a USB drive, and then go find an old computer, an old desktop, an old laptop, something that you're not using anymore, and completely format it, wipe it clean, don't install anything that takes it to the internet. Don't plug it into the internet. Leave, leave it completely offline. And then put in that USB drive with the zip file. Open it up. Load up the local HTML file that's on there. And you'll do exactly what we just did here. You'll calibrate it. You'll do your little thingy. You'll go to the print wallet. You'll click on generate a new wallet. And then you'll have your address. You can then print it out. Write it down. Take a picture of it. Whatever it is you want to do get it onto hard cold paper and uh, then delete it you know delete the USB drive wipe that computer clean again reformat it whatever it is you want to do throw it in the dumpster set it on fire I don't care just get rid of it and you got yourself an offline wallet that is the true secure the only way to make sure that your bitcoins are secure and I gotta say it one more time if you are new to Bitcoin and you're starting to take this serious please 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 consider a cold storage wallet it doesn't cost you anything but time it's free to do it'll take a little bit of elbow grease but you saw I did this in less than 10 minutes all right guys so that is all I have for you in this video I'm curious to know if you use an offline wallet if so do you use any of the sites that I mentioned in this video if not what sites do you use and what are your takes on an actual hardware wallet comment down below let me know your thoughts again guys thanks so much for watching that's all I got for you peace out YouTube